hundreds of thousands of fans expected in the Bayou City through Monday during the Final Four, advocates and law enforcement are gearing up for a much darker event. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz takes us into the underworld dealing with human and sex trafficking. They write messages of I love you. They bag a quick snack with just blocks away from a school on the corner of Bissonnette and Plainfield. Traffic stops for young women. Caught up in this. There's one in the streets. Amen. No judgment. No judgment. All of you are welcome. Wendy Turner and organizations like Hope Over Hurt make their presence known by watching for illegal trades. The pimps have never been this prevalent. That they were moving girls in from different area codes to be trafficked, uh, different cities, different states. Uh, we anticipate that to happen during the Final Four. It is very busy. Uh, these are events where trafficking will take place. Jacqueline Alato studies human trafficking, and her coalition of federal and local law enforcement partners launched the No Trafficking Zone at NRG Park. It's an initiative to stop human trafficking at sports and entertainment venues. I think that's why our numbers have gone up, because we've gotten so serious about this crime. In the first two months of 2023, Houston police officers made 298 arrests dealing with prostitution, purchasing prostitution, and human trafficking, the arrests occurring at all hours of the day. In a federal case this week, a suspected pimp is caught telling a 13-year-old victim about how to earn money to own a home and car by the time they are 18. People fly around the world to work these tracks because they're going to make a lot of money. Um, and when I say that, they're not flying alone. They're flying with their pimps and traffickers that control them. And they're flying here because they are going to make so much money. These women make $750,000 annually each one, right? So how many tricks does that mean? Remember to always follow your instincts. If a deal is too good to be true, you know the saying, it probably is.